15 years of Diablo. Um, I've been there since the beginning as a member of the community, the last six years as a developer. And I have to say, one of the greatest things that I found in making the transition was the incredible support and passion that we get from our community. You know, we've really worked hard to make uh, a game worthy of all of you, and we've given us such great feedback, um, uh, such great support, um, and really made us feel like you will always help us find the right path, the right choices to make sure that it's the best game it can be. My relationship with uh, Diablo started, I was playing Warcraft 2, and I remember looking on the back of the CD case, and there was this advertisement for this game called Diablo. And I remember leading up to just the release of the original Diablo in my house. My wife was not allowed to say it at normal volume. It was always spoken of in hushed tones. Um, and then the day it arrived, and you know, we all uh, took several days off and kind of burned through the game. Um, it, it was really getting it at that first time and, and, and seeing it. That that's one of the most memorable moments for me is, is with the original Diablo. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. One of the great things about all the Diablo games is how they've kind of moved forward with the original Diablo. Um, it was a very simple, straightforward game, and the second game really managed to maintain that, keep the simplicity. A lot of games, when you make sequels, they, they tend to make the game more complex, but Diablo 2 kept that simplicity but added you know, things like the skill trees, which really change kind of how you build characters in pretty much act, all action RPGs to follow. And working on Diablo 3, one of the things we tried to focus on was we wanted to keep the game really simple, but add a lot more depth to all the mechanics. We didn't add any more controls, we didn't make the game any more complex, but we made the controls and the elements that were already there have a lot more depth to them. So it's one of the things we've tried to hold on to with Diablo 3 is to make sure that uh, it's got that really simple facade that hides the really rich, deep game underneath. We're almost done with Diablo 3, um, and that's a fitting celebration of the 15-year anniversary for Diablo, so uh, we'll get it to you as soon as we can. Thank you so much for you know, how much raw energy and passion that all of you have brought to uh, the Diablo games, and um, you know we hope that Diablo 3 really lives up to all your expectations.